If you're doing a PowerPoint presentation and you want to make sure that every slide has the same consistency, perhaps it's got a logo on it, or you might want to put your name on each of the slides, then it's really easy to do. What you need to do is go into View up at the top here, go to the Slide Master, and choose this top slide here on the left hand side. You can then insert a picture by going into Insert, Picture. Hey presto, there's the Jargon Free Help logo. I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to move that down to the bottom corner here and make that just a little bit smaller so it's out of the way. You'll see it's actually appearing on each of them over here. So these are all different slides. So that's like a title slide. That's one for actually putting in content like bullet points and actually having things like tables, graphs, movies, pictures, all that kind of thing. This is a slide master here. You can see for having two columns of bullet points. So if you look down this list, you can actually alter them individually. But something that's really common is to go through and be able to just put a logo over there. You might actually want to also put something into the footer here, such as created by Gary, and that will appear on every slide. To close it, you know, just click on Close Master View, and you can see it's on each of my slides. Ignore the audio thing here, that won't be seen when it actually starts playing. And if I start playing, you'll see it's got my logo on each of the slides there. The footer is the one that is going to come out if I was to actually print this out. So if I wanted to, I could go back into View, if I actually wanted my name there, and I would have to click back on that top slide. Not a bad idea is to actually insert a text box, put that down here, and then I could move that around, say to there. Now, when I actually close my Slide Master, I've clicked on the Slide Master tab, and now if I was to run my slideshow, you'll see it says my name down at the bottom there. So using the standard built-in footer is only for printing, which confuses a lot of people. So I actually drew in a text box there, and that is what actually allowed it to appear on each one. So that's how you can put logos and other text and obviously pictures into all of your slides in PowerPoints.